This risotto is looking good and you can see every grain of rice there has started to puff up so it's cooking really well. Now when there's about 10 minutes to go with the risotto, that's the perfect time to start thinking about cooking our duck. So I've got two duck breasts here. This risotto will feed four people and you only need half a duck breast per person because it is really rich with the red wine risotto. Now I've got a griddle pan over here and this is going to give it a lovely mark on the fat when it starts to render. With duck, general rule is bring it to room temperature or bring it out of the fridge at least half an hour before cooking it. We want to pat it dry with some paper toweling, especially on that skin, and then we can start seasoning. So a good pinch of salt on this side. I'm going to turn it over and then season the other side. And I should score this duck too, just to allow that duck fat to render as much as possible. Don't go all the way through to the flesh, just score that skin and we'll just score it four or five times, that's perfect. I also like just a touch of pepper on here. Now it goes straight onto the griddle pan. Now this cooks for about six to eight minutes. It's a cold pan, so the heat is not on at this stage. We'll put them in, turn the heat on, so six to eight minutes, I'll turn it over. It'll take another three to four minutes. And the most important thing, rest your meat. So rest the duck for four minutes before you start slicing. And then that risotto is going to be ready. So it'll all come together. duck's cooked and of course resting for a while and this risotto is cooked. The last thing I want to do is grill some radicchio. I love the bitterness of this. The bitter leaves like this go really well with gamey meats like this duck. So I'm going to just cut it in half and just for one serve I actually just need one wedge and this is what the duck will sit on. I'll actually take it from this one just so the stem is just still attached. So that base there will hold all those leaves together. So we've got a little bit of duck fat on our griddle pan here, and I'm just going to add that, and that's going to take moments. We just want a little bit of colour. I still want some crunch from that. Now, to finish off the risotto, I am going to taste it just to see how the seasoning is. Needs salt. Very important not to over-season it at the beginning. Depending on what stock you use, after it's been reducing and being absorbed by the rice, sometimes it already is a little bit salty. So taste at the end and then season. A good amount of pepper and some butter. And now I've just turned the heat off and now we can start grating our cheese. So a good handful of parmesan. I love parmesan cheese. So we'll just grate that. That should do. We can always add a little bit more to the top. And then we'll just get that. I've seen a lot of different Italian chefs make this and they always say just let it rest there just for one to two minutes just to relax which gives me just enough time to cut the duck, slice the duck and turn over this radicchio and I can smell it. Oh, it's good. See how that is just, you've got those griddle marks there. The smokiness of that is going to be sensational. I love this dish. Oh, look at that one. Absolutely perfect. Now for the duck, resting it's going to ensure that it stays super juicy. Thin, delicate pieces is what we're looking for. And half a fillet of duck per person. Just line that up. We'll get a beautiful light blue plate. I think that'll look great against that red of the risotto. We're going to add the risotto to the plate. Spread it out a little bit. Radicchio time. Just get that spoon. Carefully take it out of the pan and straight onto that plate there. That in itself is just fantastic. And then our duck. Straight on top there. That is a sensational dish. Autumn, winter speaks for itself. That'll keep you full for a long time. And again, a beautiful glass of wine with that. Fantastic way to serve duck. Mm -hmm.